Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners on how to reconcile your bank account. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and today I want to show you the proper steps and how to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks 2022. First things first, hey, if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up, please share it. Also subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos, new videos every single week uh, to show you how to effectively use QuickBooks. All right, so here we are on the home screen. Now, reconciling your bank uh, account in QuickBooks is uh, very similar if you have ever reconciled your personal checking account back in the old days when we had paper registers and checks and you'd get your bank statement and you flip it over and they always had something in the back of it where you listed out stuff that cleared, checks that cleared, deposits that cleared, and you reconciled to make sure that your bank balance matched what your checkbook shows. Well, it's the same thing in QuickBooks, except it's electronic. So in QuickBooks, what you want to do, you want to make sure you do this for your business every single month. This should be part of your month end close procedures is to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks. Now, the importance of this is that your bank balance within QuickBooks matches what the bank shows. So there could be some outstanding deposits, some outstanding checks, some things like that. But by reconciling your checking account in QuickBooks, you're going to make sure that you didn't, you know, maybe duplicate duplicate a deposit or an expense. You're going to make sure everything matches up to the bank. That way you don't risk bouncing a check uh, or maybe you didn't record a deposit. So you think you have less money than you actually do. Uh, you just want to make sure these things tie up. And so this is part of a normal uh, monthly accounting close of your books is to make sure that you reconcile your bank account. Okay, so here we are on the home screen and I'm going to walk you through uh, the steps here. Now there's two ways to get to the reconcile screen. So we're going to take this scenario, assume you get to the end of the month, your bank statement comes out, you, you go pull it online, maybe you still get it in the mail. You've got your bank statement in front of you. You want to pull that out. You want to have it right in front of you uh, on your screen or on your desk or whatever the case may be. You pull up QuickBooks and you can go to one of two places. Either place takes you uh, to the to the right spot. First one is banking. And you're going to see here under banking, you can choose reconcile. Or you can go over to this little banking square over here in the flow chart and choose reconcile. Either one takes you to the same spot. All right, so I click on reconcile. It brings up this screen. It says, okay, begin reconciliation. First of all, you've got to choose the right account. It's going to default right here to the checking account. And this is the one we're going to reconcile in this example. And the next thing is you want to make sure that the statement date. So the statement you have up on your screen or on your desk will have an ending date on it. Put that date right here. So this example is going to be November 30th, 2023. That is my statement date. Next, beginning balance. This should match your bank statement. So your beginning balance should be $71,452.58. Now, if it is not, they have a little handy thing here. You can click uh, and it will help you troubleshoot. Now, typically the reason why that this does not match is because you went back and unreconciled something. You went and deleted something. Maybe you went and added something. Uh, to a prior month that's already been reconciled. That's, I don't want to say a big no-no, but generally, if you go back and do that, you're going to mess up a reconciliation and your beginning balance is going to be off. I have other videos on the channel about uh, reconciling those, finding where those errors are. So go check out that video as well. All right, so we're going to assume in this case that it matches the beginning balance on the statement. And then you want to put in your ending balance. This is per your bank statement. So simply look at your bank statement. It'll say ending balance and you type it in here. So we're going to say it's 55, 631.39. All right. So there's our ending balance. And then you want to go down here and you want to say, is there any service charges or interest earned? Now, most of the time there's no interest earned these days on bank accounts or checking accounts. I've got $10 already input here for a service charge. So we're going to say that the bank charged us a $10 service charge. You only enter it here, assuming you have not entered it already in QuickBooks. So if you use bank feeds and it came through and you entered it, don't do it again here. You're going to be off $10 in your bank reconciliation. Okay. So in this case, I didn't do that. 
I'm entering it here. I make sure the date is 11-30-2023, which is my statement ending date, and I'm putting that to bank service charges, which is an expense account. So we got all this squared away. If you do class tracking, of course, you can put in your class tracking. You got the ending balance, beginning balance, the right account. We should be good to go. All right, so let's go to continue. Now you're going to see this screen come up, and this is where you do the actual reconciliation. And this is very, very simple. I know this can be a little bit overwhelming, but here's the first thing you want to do. First thing is to go up here to this box. It says hide transactions after the statement end date. Check this box, and it's going to clear up all the stuff that comes after November 30th, 2023. So after your statement date. So it makes it a little bit more manageable. Now, a couple things here, you've got checks and payments over here. They're all bold, and you've got deposits and other credits over here. They're bold as well. You've got a couple buttons down here. You can mark them all at once, unmark them all. You can go to, and some of these are matched, which is beyond this video, okay? Down here, uh, we have the beginning balance, 71,452. And you can see here where when you start checking things off, so if I check off this check right here, it adds it down here. So that's pretty handy because you can look at your bank statement and they typically will have a little section that has, you know, the number of deposits and the number of checks and payments and the amounts, and you can match those up to make sure they match. All right, then over here we have uh, the service charge that we put in the other screen coming out, minus $10. Ending balance, cleared balance, difference. This difference right here, $15,811.19. Your goal in a reconciliation is to get this to zero. And when you get it to zero, it means you reconcile and it means your QuickBooks bank balance matches your bank statement balance. Okay, now here's how we do that. So what you wanna do, you wanna go down your physical bank statement and you're going to check off. If one of these is on your bank statement, you put a little check mark next to it. It's as simple as that. So we're gonna go down our bank statement and we're gonna say, okay, yep, check numbers, all these different check numbers cleared. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and you can hold down the left mouse button and just drag the cursor down. It'll check all of these off. And then I look and I say, okay, now from a deposit standpoint, my deposits, this deposit for $4,135.50, it also cleared. So I'm going to check that off. Okay, so I've got everything that is marked off here. And if I look down below here, my difference is zero. So that means I have reconciled my bank account. Now there's one or two more steps. So let me get to those in just a second. Now, in some cases, uh, a lot of cases, actually, you're gonna have other transactions on here that are not checked off. So, if, you know, in this example, it's very simple. Everything's checked off, but you're gonna have some where, you know, maybe that one didn't clear, that one didn't clear, that one didn't clear, and you reconcile. Those that did not clear are called uncleared transactions and they will show up on the next month reconciliation because they should have cleared by then. All right, but in this case, we have a very simple reconciliation. We get everything here. We get down to a $0 difference, which is your goal. And when you hit that goal of zero, you click reconcile now. It's gonna come up. It's gonna have a box that comes up and says, hey, congratulations, you reconciled your bank account. What type of report would you like to see? Now you can uh, choose a summary reconciliation, a detail or both, and you can print or you can display. I'm gonna display both of those to show you what they look like. Let me click okay. So this is the summary report right here and it's just all condensed information. Checks and payments, 17 that cleared, deposit one cleared, uh, total cleared transactions. So your balance is the 71 minus that 15. So the cleared balance is 55,631 and 39 cents. Very, very simple. Now, I have a lot of new transactions after November 30th, 2023, and you'll see all of those here. These, of course, are uncleared because they are after the bank statement date. Now, let me close this one, and this is the detailed reconciliation report, and it's the same as the other one. It just gives all the different details. Here's everything that, that cleared, all the deposits, and then here's all your new transactions. F pretty straightforward. Now, what a lot of people will do, you don't have to necessarily print save this. You can put it to a PDF, save it electronically. You can print it, put it in a file, whatever works for you and your business. But you can also always go back into QuickBooks and retrieve these reports. So you really don't have to do either one of those. 
All right, any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, do me a favor, head over to the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org, where I've got a couple of videos there that spell out the top mistakes that most new QuickBooks users make. Also, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon.